party. Where's the LT? Hang it right up here. I need you to find our Marines and bring them back safe ASAP. <laughs> My name's Ernie McNabb, I've spent 18 years in the British Army, 8 of them in the infantry and 10 of them in the Special Air Service. 20 years ago uh, I deployed to Iraq during the first Gulf War with a Special Air Service um, with a mission to go and cut a fibre optic cable that was running from the uh, Iraqi headquarters in Baghdad to the Scud teams that were in the western deserts of Iraq that were firing into Israel. Um, the call sign, the radio call sign of, of that patrol was called Bravo 2-0. The mission, uh, we didn't accomplish the mission, uh, eight-man foot patrol we were sent to the northwest of Baghdad to find this fiber optic cable. Um, during uh, the, the mission itself, three men died, uh, four were captured at different times on the Iraq and Syrian border as we tried to escape the Iraqis and only one made it to the safety of Syria and eventually back to the Allied forces in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. I served another three years in the Special Air Service and it was then I got approached about writing the book Bravo 20 about that patrol's experience and by everybody's uh, surprise the book um, went way beyond what the expectations were and even today it's, it's the biggest selling war book of all time around the world. It's not so much the details of what weapon does what or what is going on on the ground. What it's all about is, you know, what does that weapon smell like after it's been fired? What does it feel like? And more importantly, what does the character who's firing a weapon, what do they feel and why are they doing what they do? And that's what you're going to get from Battlefield 3. It's just not so much the story of, you know, Dima, the Russian, who's a part of the Battlefield uh, 3 story. It's actually trying to get behind that. And just like the, the, the game, it's all about the story. And we can expand the game and look at it from a different point of view.